Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to the tarot room. Capricorn, get comfy, get cozy, get comfortable. Because today we're going to talk about you and the great things that are coming towards you. Let's talk about the unexpected blessings that are coming your way. The good things that are going to be shining down on you in the next few weeks. So let's talk about this. Spirit guys, what great things are coming towards Cappies? What do we need to know? Talk to us about the Capricorn Collective. What good things are coming our way? Please and thank you. What you want to say? What you want to say? Truth be told. Okay. Card number 14 breaks down to five. So this look, appears to be seeing somebody. This is the worst cut I've ever done. What am I doing? It seems to be um, seeing the truth for a situation, seeing a person, seeing behind the masks, just learning the truth. Let's see what this is all about. And this is about being real honest. So what's going on here, Spirit Guides? What is this blessing? Cat, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. So we start this with the Five of Wands, the Three of Wands in reverse, Temperance. Okay. And the Five of Cups in reverse. And in the near future, what do we got? This is our past energy. So the Five of Wands in reverse and Three of Wands. It's like this, ooh, we've got the Empress here. I think that was the Queen of Swords. It was. Then we got the Three of Cups. What else do we have here? The Ace of Cups. The Four of Wands in reverse. And on the bottom, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of optimism, a lot of positive thinking, a lot of manifesting what it is that you want. So in the past here, which tarot deck should we let's use these bad boys. We have the five of wands and the three of wands in reverse. That's like a hopeless feeling. Um, that's just a constant struggle, always battling for something, always battling. What is this for the past here? What do you want to say about that for Cap? Oh, huh, look at that. This for your happiness. Whoa. And look at that. That's how we end it. So I feel like you're just looking for, um, I do feel like it's about love, but the Ace of Cups is just a new beginning we'll go through, but you're, you're just happiness, just that sense of freedom, that sense of um, enlightenment, just that sense of waking up in the morning and just looking forward to your day. You know, I feel like it might've been a little bit of struggle um, just getting that sense of, I feel like freedom and just being free. It's this new beginning from this struggle. And I do feel like it's thoughts, right? The temperance means that you've done that. You've balanced that. You've created this aspect. The, there's the, the masculine, the feminine within yourself. So you've done your spiritual cap. This reading is the blessing for the Capricorn that has done that work within themselves and dealt with those struggles. You know, the truth be told, sometimes the hardest truths are to face within us. Um, and you've done that and it's become you've become wiser for that. Um, and I feel like it's also been a journey of self-love because I'm really being drawn to these like, those rose petals, they are, well, I don't know if they're rose petals, but they're little roses all over. So you've definitely become wise. You're definitely loving yourself. You've definitely created this balance and you've moved past, you know, your past. The five of cups is in reverse. So you're moving beyond that. You're understanding that you're seeing that for what it is. And you have this sense of freedom, like the weights lifted off your shoulders. Like you're just happy. Oh, that's weird. What is that? The six of pentacles with the world. You are ready for your new cycle and the world here after everything that we've talked about this is like so if we're talking about that consciousness this aspect of ourselves the trump is the magician starting from the beginning going all the way to the end right and our lesson of that consciousness our consciousness growing through those lessons in the world means that we get our new cycle our consciousness has learned that lesson we've grown we've matured we've learned and now we're entering this really great cycle wiser smarter the better version of ourselves a more balanced version of ourselves an equal give and take we give to ourselves like we give to other people because we understand the principle of giving and receiving we got to be equal and in the middle <laughs> balance you're a balanced copy and you're about to get your karma because we got the empress here which is you your empress status so the empress doesn't just become the empress like every capricorn reading <laughs> You guys are the empress. She always comes out. So funny. If you watch my other readings, I assure you, she doesn't come out all the time, Cap. She does not come out for the other signs all the time. So you guys are the motherfucking empress. Um, but I also feel like you're really working hard on something here. And whatever it is that you're working hard on, this Ace of Cups um, is about to come through. And you made it happen through your manifestation, through your thoughts, through action, right? This Queen of Swords takes action. She's thinking about how to get where she wants to go. And she made, yeah, and she weather, hoo, hoo, hoo. because, you know, she weathers the storm. 
So when things are rocky, when things are shaky, she stands strong. She knows that there's that rainbow at the end and she finds solutions to her obstacles, to her issues. She learns from her mistakes. She doesn't continue to make that mistake. And that's what creates this happiness, this sense of accomplishment, this sense of celebration because the three of cups is celebration. But then we got the four of wands in reverse and we'll talk about that. But what is this the three of wands in reverse? So this is the, this is clarifying that three of cups, three of wands in reverse. Ooh, the empress in reverse. Yeah, you're celebrating you're you're celebrating you. <laughs> Sounds might sound really strange, but I feel like you're just realizing um, that things are starting to progress. Things are starting to happen. You're starting to grow. You're starting to see the influence maybe you have on other people, but the influence you have on yourself and your life, right? You're starting you're starting to see your perceptions kind of shifting, um, and those disappointments now you're understanding that you went through that so that you could become the empress, so you could be the star. So you could be the star of your own show. You could be true to yourself, completely authentic, balanced. Again, sharing both cups, you know, sharing with yourself, sharing with the world. Um, the king. Of, ooh, look at this. The king. Yes. Yeah, hmm. And victory over your emotions. Um, victory over. Yeah. You know what's important to you in life. You know what you want in life. It's, I have the sense of victory. It's like you're standing on top of the mountain here, victorious over some challenges that you've overcome here. Um, which is really exciting, but let's talk about this four of wands and this ace of cups. I want to talk about the four of wands first, because what is that? Then we'll get to the new beginning. <laughs> There's the four of wands in reverse. What you want to say about that for cap A? Hmm. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Oh, and the sun. Okay, I did see until that sun came out. <laughs> the sun. So, um... I have this feeling and this sense of like, okay, so let's say this is a job you're trying to get. You've been manifesting your dream job in California. And now, you know, you're the, well, the exact, you're the, you know, the VP of the ad department in California or something. You got this beginning and then it's like, you're there and your imposter syndrome or your, you start to crawl back into old thoughts. So you're going to take a little bit of a step back here. So you get what you want. And then it's like, oh my gosh, um, fears come through that you can't do it. You're not good enough. Can you make this happen? Can you, can you, and the answer is yes. The sun is here and the Ace of cups is here and you've done your work. So the answer is yes, because you're the empress, but you have these little fears and insecurities creeping in. And those are just old versions of yourself and old stories that you're telling yourself, but it's fears coming through that, that you're going to fail. You're not going to succeed. You're not going to do this. You're going to affect this or people are, you know, this, you're just your fears coming through, whatever those fears are for you. So you're getting what you want here. And um, the message here is do not let your fears any way in any way interfere with that because the truth is you've done the work you're ready for this um and it's time that you get it so don't let imposter syndrome hold you back any longer yeah don't let it hold you back any capricorn <laughs> don't let it hold you back any longer the wheel of fortune and the sun so yeah this is exactly what you want this is the opportunity of a lifetime this will bring you the happiness that you want you will be celebrating um and like those doubts and insecurities are always going to come up, right? Let's not pretend that they're not going to. That's ridiculous. That's why you're the inner alchemist. You just transmute them. You let them go. That was the past. This is now. And this is exactly what I want. This is what I manifested. This is what I've been working towards. And I got it. So I'm going to keep going um, now that I'm here, you know, now that I'm here, the work actually, now that you get there, the work, that's when the real work actually starts, right? So you got a lot of work ahead of you, but you're going to enjoy what you're doing. So let's get you a few oracles and we'll see where you are in a month. So spirit guides. Where's Capricorn need to surrender to when it comes to this new opportunity to, well, sorry, wants to take this one. You're a sender. Ah, surrender your attachment to results. So the formula for success is to do all you can to make it happen and then just let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Trust the universe. Trust that you've done everything that you can, right? Um, and the energy oracle message here for Cap. Well, healer. Wow. Healer of the ages, angel of strength, and the thinking man. <laughs> look at this. You have both, like, look at that. You've really done a lot of the work. So you definitely do not need to doubt yourself in any way. You're ready for this adventure that you're about to go on. This is having the courage and the confidence to show the world what you have. Um, and the thinking man's about no more thinking. It is time to take 
action. You've planned, you've prepared, you've done the work, you've realized what you need to do and what you want. And you're in a really good spot as far as that aspect of yourself. I really like it. I like it. So let's get your soul card and then we'll get your potential outcome here, Cap. What is the soul that looks in here for Capricorn? <laughs> Strength. <laughs> Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. Yes, it has. And that's the second card of the night with that sword up and the bird up there. You notice that? So your frequency is good. You're looking at things from a new perspective, from a bird's eye view. Um, and you're ready to enter into this new venture successfully because you are ready. You are ready. Okay, let's get your potential outcome. So when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you with this opportunity? How is this going? Are there any issues we need to know about? Are things going beautifully? Are you celebrating, drinking champagne or wine or beer, whatever you drink? Uh, spirit guides, what's going on? Or if you don't drink that, whatever you drink, water, <laughs> fizzling water. Um, but Ten of Swords in reverse. Three of Cups, Seven of Swords in reverse, the Devil in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and on the bottom, the Seven of Wands, and yeah, okay, I gotta move these cards right my way, I don't know why I, look, I don't like cards there, it's like I need to put my hand there, um, here's the situation, so the Ten of Swords in reverse is the ending of basically not getting what you want, you have manifested the reality that you're looking for here, Cap, like what you want is finding you like what you want is coming to you and you're celebrating the three of cups is having a good time you like where you are um you're enjoying your opportunities that are there you're satisfied but there's still um but with okay so the seven of swords in reverse the devil in reverse and the magician in reverse this is all about being truthful and releasing those toxic thoughts those patterns those past behaviors that didn't serve you they're still coming through but here you are transmuting them right you're like no thank you for coming negative thought but have a great day. No, thank you for coming doubt, but have a great day. I don't think so. Okay. So this is you standing your ground against any doubts and insecurities. Kind of how I feel it. They're like coming through and you're like swatting them away. Like, fuck you. I got what I want. I worked really hard and those past thoughts are not going to let me bring me down. Right? So you're in a good spot and you're fighting off those thoughts. That's what inner alchemy is, right? Eventually they'll come less and less. They'll be quicker and quicker and you'll be able to remove them so much easier. And you're becoming a master of that. So Cap, you're in a good place, you're celebrating, you're having fun, you're enjoying this. Like I said, you're starting to see what you worked for, right? It's like you had this plan, you were visualizing your manifestations and they're starting to come to fruition. And that is an amazing fucking feeling. So that's what I have for you. This is your blessings. <laughs> things are starting to happen. Things are progressing. You're starting to see what you worked for come through. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Always appreciate the support. We're going to end this with a yes or no question. So yes or no. What is the answer to your question? Send the energy my way. Pause the reading if you have to. Spirit guides for Capricorn, yes or no. What's the answer? A big whopping yes. That's what I have. I truly wish you the best of luck, Cap. Till next time.